I just washed my face and I look disgusting, but that's okay. guys tomorrow morning i need to go get a box we're trying to figure out who is gonna do what but basically i want a package to show up at patrick's and him be very confused and jacob or i jump out of said box and scare the crap out of him like literally you can come in, in the nice vibey lighting in our apartment right now if i go over to patrick's to like get some work done or something like that and then jacob brings a box sets it down and like puts himself in it, it's gonna be tough. And, and especially like, like, you gotta take into account with me, I weigh like 80 more pounds, well not 80 more pounds, like 60 more pounds than you do. Yeah. So I'm gonna be even harder to pick up. Oh, I know you are. How do you bring the box, put it in front of the door and make it quiet enough so where he's not like, what is that? And opens this door. Yeah. We got a lot of work to do, but I am gonna fight nail and tooth, teeth and nail to scare the crap out of my friend tomorrow. <laughs> Dang it, I'll get back to you tomorrow morning. I'm Catherine, this is my flaw. I love how supportive my husband is. <laughs> <laughs> it's first, it's not first thing in the morning. It kind of is though. We're about to go to the gym. Our gym finally opened back up. Jacob went and checked it out the other night to make sure that they're being safe. Everybody's wearing masks and they're sanitizing and they are. We're gonna go work out and then I have to figure out how the flipping heck all of this prank is gonna work. So here's what I'm thinking. This idiot over here. Are you talking to me? Ugh. Oh wow, real original. Okay. That really hurt my feelings that you said that. Thank you. I have to find a box that looks like a box that you would ship. Unfortunately, when you go to like Home Depot, or you go to Walmart, they're Walmart and Home Depot boxes. So that's very obviously not something. Sorry, you're on Mowgli's cat tree and there's a good chance he's gonna knock you down. Or shove his face right in your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I need to go around town and find a box that's gonna work. Then, this is the this is what I'm thinking. I haven't even really told you to do this. We love him, you understand it? Just tell me. That was me talking in reverse. Uh, obviously, like I said, I need to go to Pat's anyways to do some work. When I show up, I think the box is already gonna be there. We need to get you in the box and tape the box closed as quietly as possible so that when I knock on the door, I'm already gonna be vlogging because I'm gonna be like, what the heck did you order? Mm -hmm. And then Pat's gonna be like, what? That's when we scare him. Do I know if I wanna try and carry you inside yet or not? I don't. How much do you weigh? 180? About 180. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Well, between two people, that's 60 pounds each. You might be like, oh, this is so heavy. Let me just, I just open said it 60 up. 60 pounds each. That's not 60 pounds each. I just wanted to correct my. So, it's 90 pounds each. Go ahead. She did good at math in school. That is my least favorite subject. Can you tell? Because I'm so heavy, he might just open me up like at the door. <laughs> he might just open you up at the door. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also need to create a shipping label that looks legit, legit and I don't have a printer. Yeah, might have to go to your parents. Maybe I go to high five. Maybe you go to high five. I am a little worried that I'm gonna get punched in the face today. Are you? That might happen. I might punch you in the face, because that is my reaction. I have actually punched Patrick before, <clears throat> because he scared me, and that's just, that's my reaction. Just like, oh, I'm gonna give Jacob a GoPro in the box too, so we can get nice. multiple angles. Well, let's go to the gym, and then let's scheme and get this plan down pat. You know what I did. Dream scheme team. Green scheme team. <laughs> In that clip, if you saw any portion of my kitchen, it's terrifying right now. Actually, our entire apartment is. Jacob and I, for the last like two days, have just been like, no, I'm not gonna clean. And it looks like a teenager's room in here. <laughs> I wanna say that this is the worst that our kitchen has ever looked. I think that our entire apartment, this is the worst it's ever looked. Like, I don't wanna look around because it makes me anxious and annoyed. Let's go to the gym. What's up, yo? I just realized I live close to a UPS, so that's where we're going, because I can get a UPS box. <coughs> just finished up at the gym, I noticed that there was a sign that says that you're not allowed to film in there, so I didn't film. What were you gonna say? Some sarcastic remark? I was trying to think of what UPS stands for. I mean, I know what it actually stands for, but I was planning on like... So anyways, you know, we're gonna go get a box from UPS. You punch soup. You get a bowl of soup and you punch it but it's a store where you're capable. Okay, bye. We went in there and the woman was like, what are you trying to ship? And I was like, I'm trying to fit this guy in a box. And she looked at me like, and I was like, I'm serious. I'm trying to fit him in a box. And she's like, we don't have a box big enough for that. And I was like, that's fair. Now we're going to a place called Box City. Box. Do you see that? Box City. Box City. That was 
so obnoxiously loud. <laughs> Let's go to Box City! You guys really get to see my birthmarks. <laughs> Found a box big enough to fit Jacob in, which is good. Now I just have to figure out how to fit it in my car. Jacob's a genius, I'll say it now. What did I do? Jacob was like, dude, there's a post office right there. And I was like, yeah, and I don't want to pay $15 for postage. And he was like, you don't have to, just put in a really lightweight. I got a shipping label, a legit shipping label. So um, it's gonna look real legit. Patrick's obviously not just gonna like open a package out in the hall of his apartment complex. So he's gonna probably need my help bringing it in. Best case scenario, you sit on your knees. So if we go to pick you up, you're not gonna be falling over. But if you do lose your balance and you fall over, I would suggest just leaning to that side. And, and just, just letting it happen. Letting it happen <laughs> if you lose your balance, because obviously if you're a heavy item, that's what's gonna happen. If he like sits you back up, obviously you can go back over. I'll just be dead weight. Yeah. Like like with um like with our relationship. That was get it? weird. You get it? So you think that's best case scenario? I think best case scenario is just not getting stabbed. As long as I, I leave I'm... like a little lip open up on the tape, I'm sure he'll see that and just pull. Okay, cool. Yeah. You had a cat hair on you. We've got the box and I've got the shipping label on it. There's a 50-50 chance that this will work. We're gonna have to put it together at his apartment complex because uh, there's not a lot of guest parking where Patrick lives. So you have to park in a shopping center nearby and walk to his apartment. And that's gonna be pain in the butt if the box is all put together. So let's get it. That's all that's coming. Hey guys, we're at Patrick's apartment complex. I'm gonna close the top of this just so when we get up to the top, I don't have to do much because you can hear a noise through his door. And I don't want any chance of him coming out or looking for the people at us. So here we are. Go, go, go. I'm so scared. <laughs> me too. My leg is killing me. What are you ordering? I didn't order anything. Oh, someone sent you an early birthday present? That's to me? It literally says breath. Patrick Jones. I know, those freaking stairs, dude. So you don't know what this is. I have no idea. And it's really early for your birthday because your birthday's in March. Yeah. And it doesn't say where it's saying. It almost like makes me nervous. Yeah, that's a little creepy. You ever just get a blank box? This is for sure you. Uh, I wish it was. I like how it says this side up and it's clearly not that <laughs> side up. Ooh, it's heavy, dude. Oh, it does say El Paso, Texas on it. El Paso? It says it on the box at least. I don't know if that means anything, but. I don't know anyone who lives in El Paso. Hmm. This cor corrugated fireboard container. Why is it so heavy? Is it heavy? Yeah. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> what? Oh. This isn't a prank or anything? Dude. It's not like Jacob in the box? I wish. <laughs> That's a freaking genius idea, actually. Are you ready? I guess. All right. Oh my god. There's no freaking way. Holy crap. I didn't fit Jacob in this box. I didn't fit question. Jacob in I this box. I don't believe you. Dude, I literally, <laughs> of all the times that I wish this was a prank, that would have been great. There's no way. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, someone's in the box, Kat. <laughs> okay, for real? Yeah. No. Okay. I wish, but no. And I'm not even joking, like... So we're gonna need to pick this up and bring it in there. Slightly alarmed with how large yeah. and heavy this is. And it doesn't have a return address either. Did you see anybody? You just walked up here, right? No, did you get a knock on your door or anything? Uh, Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay! I'm gonna open it and Jake is gonna pop out. I know what's gonna happen. Did we just open it? I don't know. That's your call. Do you want it inside or do you want it outside? Well, do you think we can pick it up and bring it inside? Let's do it. Maybe. I'm kind of creeped out, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. No! Oh my god! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> it just takes off right. I called it! I literally called oh, it! Oh man, I'm so mad. I was not prepared. <laughs> that is hilarious. I wasn't expecting you to peek through the people. Yeah. I just it's see it. a hand and it's... an eye. I was sitting in there like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have been standing at that door for the last like 30 seconds because I heard something and I was like, I literally thought it was a paper flap on my door and I was like, I'll just get it later. And then you knocked on it and I completely forgot about that until just now. Literally, Jacob, like, I told him. Free box. Yeah, it's and a wardrobe. Nice. Yeah, I told him, like, when we go up there, you can hear everything outside of Pat's door. We have to be silent. <laughs> and I was seriously sitting here, like, pulling tape, like, 
I thought it was, I thought it was a paper flapping on the door. Oh. I knew it was something, because yeah. like, it, this is clearly your handwriting too. I tried to make it different. So I thought it was actually gonna be like an actual early okay. birthday present. It which is. It is. We already got the divorce papers all ready to go and everything. Oh, perfect, so now you're mine. Uh, now you're mine. I was yours. No. That's okay, I'd rather have the box anyways, to be honest. So. See you later. <laughs>